In this video tutorial, we are going to start to take our Poth encoding to another level where we start to look at if else statements. Now, if else statements allow you to make decisions in your code. It's like a choose your own adventure where the code will follow a particular path depending on what decision the user makes. So the one we're going to make today first up is fairly simple. We're going to ask the user the question, is it sunny outside? If the user says, yes, it is, then we're going to tell them to head to the beach. But if the user says, no, that it's not sunny outside, then we're going to tell them to stay indoors and do some gaming. And then our program will end. Okay, so it's a fairly simple program. You are going to be learning a couple of new keywords here that you can use in your programs. And you'll find that these if else statements will pop up quite frequently in your code as they are very handy. Um, what we will do to get started is head over to Mew and make ourselves a new file. And as I said before, we're going to ask the user a question to start with. Okay, so use that input keyword in brackets and quotation marks. Let's ask them if it's sunny outside. So is it sunny outside today? Put a colon, space, quotation marks and brackets to finish off. Now the user is going to write in yes or no. And we want to store that answer into a variable. So let's go back to the start of the line and come up with a variable um, for this. I'm just going to call it weather. So weather equals, we ask them the question, and whether they say yes or no, that answer will be stored inside the weather variable. That way we can access that answer later on. Okay, now this is where the new part of the code comes in. We're going to use the keyword if. Okay, we're going to make a decision here. So if weather, which is the variable up here, weather, it holds the yes or no answer. So if the weather, so that answer is equal to yes. Let me put a colon at the end. Now one other thing you might have noticed here is that I used two equal signs. Because we're not doing a mathematical formula, Okay, we use two equal signs to find out if something is equal to something else. So if the weather, so this variable up here, is equal to yes. So if the person wrote yes that it is sunny outside, then what are we going to do? Okay, so make sure you've got that colon at the end. And when you press enter, you'll see your mouse cursor is indented. Okay, that just shows us that what we're writing now comes underneath this if statement. It comes inside this if statement. So we're only going to run this code if the person has said yes, that it's sunny outside. Okay, and all we're going to do is print a message on the screen that says you should go to the beach. All right, so we're going to print that line only if the user said yes, it's sunny outside. But what happens if they say no? Okay, so we go on to the next line. Just press backspace to take your mouse cursor back to the start of the line here. And we're going to use the keyword else. Okay, that simply means what else are you going to do if the user doesn't say yes, it's sunny. Okay, they might say no. All right, so this is where we put in the next line of code and tell the computer what to do in that case. So we write the word else and put a colon at the end. Don't forget that colon. You don't put that in, you're going to have some issues. When you press enter, you'll see that your mouse cursor is indented again. Okay, so the code that we're going to write here is only going to be run if the user doesn't say yes. All right, so if they don't say yes, they're obviously going to say no. So we're going to print out the message. You should stay indoors and do some gaming. Okay, quotation marks and brackets to finish it off. And that's it. Okay, it sounds a little bit more complex than it actually is. So let's just step through it line by line again, just so you know what's going on. We might even put some comments in to help you out here. So the first line says, um, the weather equals input, is it sunny outside today? So we ask the user a question, they're going to answer yes or no. So ask the user what the weather is like. Okay, now remember if you don't um, recognize this line up here where you got this hashtag at the start. This is a comment. This is just plain simple English that actually isn't part of the code that will be read by the computer. The hashtag just tells the computer to skip over this line. 
Okay, we're just putting this in here so other people who read our code understand what's going on with it. Okay, so we've asked the user, is it sunny outside? If the user says yes, we're going to print the line, you should go to the beach. Okay, if they say anything else, such as no or a little bit, okay, you'll say print, you should stay indoors and do some gaming. Okay, so we only run this line of code that they should go to the beach if the user says yes. If they say anything else at all, then we're just going to tell them to stay indoors and do some gaming. Alright, so if you want to put in some comments, you can. Um, so I might put one at the end of this line saying, uh, the user will only go to the beach if it's sunny. Um, Anything other than sunny means they stay indoors. There. There's a few comments that just help explain the code a little bit better. All right, so let's save this and run it and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to save this one as eight if else statements. Let's give it a run. Okay, so you've asked the question, is it sunny outside today? Let's say yes. Okay, it tells us you should go to the beach. Program over. Let's stop it and we'll run it again. This time, is it sunny outside today? Let's say no. There we go. It says you should stay indoors and do some gaming. So as you can see, using if-else statements allows the computer, well, and also allows the user, to choose their own path in which way the program should run. Okay, we didn't always print both of these lines. We only print one or the other, depending on what the user typed in. Okay, we're going to have a bit more of a um, look at these if-else statements in further tutorials. And if you don't understand it now, don't stress, you will in a few tutorials time.